Hey guys, it's Gizmo Joe. Um, I'm back with my review of the Elephone S8. I know that uh, a bunch of you were asking me to do a review, and um, you know I wanted to um, you know have a play with it for a few weeks, uh, give me a chance to put it through its paces. Uh, and anyway, so so this is going to be a video just kind of covering the entire thing, my first impressions. Uh, I've been using it for about two weeks now. Um, I'll talk about uh, pretty much everything. Uh, so first of all, uh, as I mentioned in the unboxing video, uh, the box is pretty basic, so we're going to shove that away. Um, it did come with one of these kind of neoprene TPU cases, whatever, I don't know, it's plastic, it's flimsy, but I actually quite like it uh, because it does fit very, very snug. Obviously, it was made for the phone, but it does provide a bit of grip, um, and I do tend to like that, especially with a phone that's this large. Um, now, uh, again, the phone itself is a six-inch screen, but it's in a... Uh, I wouldn't say it's in a 5.5 inch body. I'm not entirely sure because I don't have the specifications right in front of me, but it is definitely larger. Um, before this one, I was using a Xiaomi Redmi Note 2, um, which was you know only two gigabytes of RAM. It was starting to show its age a bit. Even though I love that phone, um, it, it was just getting a bit too slow. So I wanted something new, and uh, you know, I wanted something flashy as well. So this guy obviously is the Tri... Uh, bezel-less display. It's not totally bezel-less as you'll see in a minute when I fire up the screen. Um, but just talking about the actual build quality, um, I think it is a fantastic looking device. Um, it is a metal body uh, or a metal frame if you will. Um, this back uh, is really really beautiful i know that it looks terrible because of the amount of fingerprints that are on it and that is one thing and that's why why i would recommend using the case because it does uh tend to pick up fingerprints um on its own um but uh that is uh glass um it looks plasticky it almost feels plasticky but uh it is glass um and the front obviously is glass now um, you can probably see in the video that I've left a little plastic screen protector on it. I'm, I, I know that, you know, with Gorilla Glass and stuff like that, you really don't have to worry about scratches and stuff on your phone, but I'm just real pedantic like that. I guess it goes back a few years, uh, I don't know, back when you used to have keys in your pocket and stuff like that, and it would scratch up the screen. Um, so I've left that plastic one on there. I've actually been looking around uh, for a glass screen protector because I do like the glass ones. Um, I can't really find many. There's a few on eBay, but they come from like Germany and stuff like that. So the 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 shipping fees are ridiculous. Um, anyway, uh, let's get into the actual performance of the phone. Uh, one of the things that was highly unusual with this particular device compared to all of the other sort of bezel-less Mix clones out there was that it only had a single camera. Uh, like the Doogee Mix and some of the other ones, they all had the dual camera setup, which is pretty fashionable. Um, but as uh, some other YouTubers like Mr. Who's the Boss and stuff um, pointed out, uh, those dual cameras actually weren't actually real, um, and they were just sort of sim uh, simulating um, you know, that effect that you get, I forget what you call it, but it's that, you know, blurring of the background, whereas the, the person in the foreground is in focus. But anyway, um, so that's a 21 megapixel Sony sensor. Now, a lot of the uh, reviews that I had read on this particular device, especially uh, from people like Mr. Who's the Boss, as well as uh, Ben from Ben's Gadget uh, Reviews, uh, they said that the shutter speed on this camera was really, really slow. Um, Ben from Ben's Gadget Reviews said that uh, he had contacted Elephone and they said that they would be updating that with, uh, you know, a software, um, firmware upgrade or whatever uh, that would fix that focusing issue. Um, and uh, I'll talk more about that in a minute. But first of all, let me just fire this up. So as you can see, um, the big deal with the Elephone SA is the 2K screen. Um, it's supposedly one of the um, best screens that you can get. Uh, to be completely honest with you, like you can hold this up and you can look at it at virtually any angle. I'll just turn the brightness up a bit for you guys. Um, and I mean, you can't see any pixels. It's got great viewing angles. It's got great color, great saturation, all that sort of stuff. Um, but to be completely honest with you, I don't know if I can really tell the difference between a 2K screen versus a 1080 screen, um, especially at this size. I mean, I know it's a six inch uh, device, but again, uh, 
Can you tell? Maybe. Uh, but for me, uh, not really. Um, it does look fantastic, though. I have to admit, like I said, the color, the saturation, it definitely, when you pull this out of your pocket and you fire this up, people are like, oh, what is that thing? Um, so it does have that kind of wow factor. Um, as far as the performance, it's very fluid. It's only got a MediaTek chip in there. Um, and we'll just, I forget exactly which one it is, but let's have a quick look. So you're looking at the X265 DecaCore Helio MediaTek processor. Now, I know a lot of people make a big deal out of the MediaTek versus Snapdragon, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I've had MediaTek devices in the past. I've had Snapdragon devices in the past. Uh, I don't know. I, I think you get a higher end MediaTek chip like this one here, the X265. Uh, it's very, very fluid. Uh, I don't have any issues with it. Um, so uh, as you can see, you can probably look at some of my apps there. I don't do much on my phone other than your basic sort of, uh, you know, I, I do a little shopping and, uh, you know, reading on my phone, I, you know, social media, stuff like that. Um, I do tend to use uh, my phone for, for downloading torrents and stuff like that. I didn't have any issues. I tested a few different torrent applications. Uh, no problems there. Um, it can play X265 files as well, um, you know, using VLC there. Uh, not an issue. No problems. Um, so yeah, the performance is, is very, very good. It's got four gigabytes of RAM. You can have a million different applications open. I didn't notice any slowdown whatsoever. Um, so it is quite good. Um, I did do a few tests with some games. Uh, I'm not a big Android gamer, um, but uh, I'll, I'll fire up uh, Riptide GP2 here. Um, let me turn down the volume here. Uh, but I didn't have any issues with it. I thought uh, it was performed really well. Uh, as you can see, I'm not great. Um, I'll probably embarrass myself here, but I'll just I'll, I'll quickly fire it up uh, just so that you can see the, sort of the performance. Um, I, I think it performs really well. It looks good. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not much of a gamer, so I couldn't tell you if this is a particularly high-end game or not. I just said, oh, you know, I remember Wave Race uh, 64 on the Nintendo 64. This kind of looks cool. Uh, and I'm flying to America pretty soon, so, uh, you know, I figured it was a good idea to load up my device with some games. Um, but uh, I'll shut up and let you guys check this out for a minute. Oh, see, I said I'm not that good. Anyway, um, I'll uh, just quickly get out of here. Uh, but as you can see, it's pretty fluid, no problems. Uh, you know, you can bump up the graphical fidelity and stuff in the settings, and uh, it doesn't have any issues with that whatsoever. Um, so again, uh, very, very good performance. Uh, as far as um, the camera, now I know I said I was going to talk about the camera because that was a big issue with me. I said, oh, you know, I, I had buyer's remorse because I was going, oh my gosh, the camera supposedly sucks. Uh, and I like to use my phone to take pictures. I mean, I have a DSLR camera and stuff, but sometimes it's just a pain. Um, you know, so you probably can't see all that well on my phone, but you can see how it sort of struggles a little bit um, with objects that are close up. It does uh, focus, but the big issue was the shutter speed for me. So when I first got this thing, um, I took a couple test photos and I was shocked. Uh, by how slow it actually took the photo. Now again, uh, this is probably not a great example, um, but you can see it does have a little bit of slowdown there. Um, but that being said, I did take it outside. I have been shooting with it. Uh, and to be honest with you, I think that uh, the shutter speed isn't all that bad. Uh, but what was even better was that a couple days after I opened this guy up and fired it up and been playing around with it, Elephone had a over-the-air update. Uh, it got a notification right on the display saying, hey, there's an update available. Uh, I had a look and saw what it did. It obviously fixed some bugs and tweaks and all that sort of stuff. But the big thing was the camera. Um, so they did make good on their promise. They did send through an update on the software for the camera. I think the performance on the camera is much, much better. It's not fantastic. Um, so it's not great. Um, but it's definitely usable, um, and it's much, much better than it was uh, out of the box. Uh, so I have to give props to Elephant for that, for making good on their promise. Um, I actually got a second update uh, for the software uh, since I've been using this. And like I said, I've only been using it for about two weeks. So I thought that was really impressive as well. Uh, it, 
always the big thing that you got to worry about when you buy some of these uh, you know cheaper devices um, or ones from China is that you don't know if the support's going to be there. You know, they make something and then you know they 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 turn around, they sort of abandon it because it's not you know in vogue anymore, and they've moved on to the next device. And you know, I've 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 heard of people having issues like that in the past. Um, but uh, Elephone so far has been uh, making good on their promise. They've um, definitely uh, come through with the updates, and I think that that's excellent. Um, anyway, uh, one of the other things that I wanted to mention was this button here. Now, I don't know if you noticed before, but uh, you can unlock your device using your fingerprint, and I think the performance is really good. Um, so you can set up multiple fingers uh, so that you can unlock your phone no matter what hand you're using. Um, but this button is the only button. Now, normally with some Android phones, you have sort of the menu button that brings up your app tray, and then you have, uh, you know, the back button or whatever. Uh, this does not have that. Um, so, like, for instance, if I just fire up a few apps, uh, like, let's say I'm, I'm just in this one app here, which is Chrome. Obviously, it's my, you know, kind of default browser. If I hit back, it will go back to the home screen. But let's say, uh, you know, let's say I open Gumtree, uh, which for those of you, if you're watching in America, Craigslist is similar to Gumtree. Um, so see, if I press it, it says press back again to exit. Okay, so let's exit. All right, now let's open Feedly, which is my sort of RSS reader. Um, yeah, again, uh, don't judge uh, some of these internet applications. Uh, I live in Australia. We're still on ADSL, if you can believe it or not. It's terrible here, so my internet is very, very slow. Um, so don't judge the phone on that, I promise. It's fast um, if you have fast internet. I unfortunately do not have fast internet. And let's open eBay. Um, so we've got a few applications open. Um, like I said, don't judge it on how slow it is to load because that's just my internet, not necessarily the performance of the phone. So um, if I want to bring up my app tray, I, I actually hold that fingerprint sensor button. It's not really a button. It's, it's just a purely uh, touch thing there. And you can see uh, my apps that are open here. So I got, you know, Riptide, the camera, you know, and, and it's all very, very fluid. Um, again, no need to really clear your memory. Um, you see down there, you got four gigabytes total. It's still chugging away. It's still got almost a gig left over. So it's definitely not experiencing any bottlenecking, any throttling or anything like that. So you're going to have a really good experience. Um, so again, uh, I keep opening up these internet applications, which take forever uh, to load because my internet is terrible. Um, but, uh, you know, again, the performance is, is very, very good. Um, I have to admit that it's, it's, it's impressive. Um, you know, I wasn't expecting much uh, for a two hundred and thirty dollar device or whatever it was, um, but it's it's been really really good. Um, I've enjoyed using it. I think it's definitely a conversation starter. People, you know, see me pull it out of my phone out of my pocket, and they go, "What the heck is that thing? Is that the iPhone X?" No, it's not the iPhone X. It's you know this company you've never heard of. Uh, but I think it does look really good. It's it's definitely very attractive. Um, I know it kind of looks almost bluish, but uh, this is the black model. So again, uh, anyway, uh, as far as connectivity is concerned, uh, you'll see that it says 3G here. That's just because I'm in my house. If I took a few steps outside, um, I would automatically it would automatically jump to 4G. So um, here in Australia, no issues uh, with 4G. I'm on Optus, um, but Optus and Telstra, they all pretty much use the same bands. If you are in Australia and you're looking to get this device, just be aware that there is no band 28, which I know is a deal breaker for some people. Um, so just be aware that that is not available on this particular device. Um, but uh, again, in Australia, I have no problems. I live in Adelaide, major metropolitan area. Um, I get 4G as soon as I step out of my house. So uh, not a huge issue there. Um, one of the other things that I wanted to mention is the battery life. So uh, this phone is not, you, you can't remove the battery, you can't open this up, um, which, I mean, isn't unusual uh, for phones nowadays. However, I do like the ability to actually open up the back and pop in a new battery if I needed to, um, just because, you know, if I like a phone, I typically hang on to it for a little while. Um, and the battery life does over time, you know, tend to drop off a bit. Now this guy has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Um, it, in theory, that's supposed to be really good. Um, I mean, I know that, uh, you know, other people with, with large batteries and it lasts them, you know, two days without having to, you know, recharge or whatever. Um, this one, however, does not. 
um, I would say that, uh, you know, given my testing and, and over the past two weeks or so, you'd probably get about a day out of this um, pushing it. But I mean, you know, like when I go to work in the morning, um, you know, sometimes I have, you know, maybe say I have 85%. Uh, by the time I get home, I'm down to, you know, the thirties or whatever. And it's not like I've been using my phone all that much, all that, uh, during the day. I mean, obviously I, I'm connected to the internet and I'm getting updates and all that sort of stuff, but it's not like I'm on my phone constantly. Um, so, um, I've heard other people say that, oh, you know, maybe the battery life is because of the screen, you know, and it is a big screen. So obviously the screen is going to chew up a lot of your battery life. Uh, that is uh, definitely a culprit. Um, however, like I said, I don't use my phone all that much while I'm at work. So typically it's off. Uh, the screen is off. I mean, you know, it's connected and all that sort of stuff. But, uh, and see, I just actually, I just barely tapped that fingerprint sensor and see how it popped on. So it's very responsive. Um, but getting back to the battery, um, again, it's, uh, you know, I would say that you'd probably be good for a day or so. Um, and I mean, that's, that's not bad, especially for something that's, that's this huge, the screen is massive. Um, but you know, if you were thinking 4,000 milliamp hours, oh, well, I'll get two days out of it. No, it's not going to happen. Um, one of the other things I wanted to mention, um, I know that you guys probably can't, it's hard to see, but, uh, the speakers here, uh, it is not a stereo setup. It is mono. So if you close that one, you, the sound would not be muffled whatsoever, um, because it's only actually coming out of the one mono speaker. Uh, so that's just there for, I guess, uh, you know, looks, I suppose. Um, but yeah, that actually does nothing. Um, as you can see, it's a USB C, uh, connector. Uh, so that's all good, nice and modern. Uh, but you'll notice at the top, and this is one of my, my one big complaint is that it does not have a standard uh, audio jack. Now I know that you know that tends to be the the you know cool thing to do, I suppose. But I just think it's totally unnecessary. I mean, you're telling me on a handset this size, you couldn't squeak in a, a you know a 3.5 mil audio cable jack somewhere uh, for standard headphones. Um, I find that a little bit hard to believe. Um, so that is one thing that does sort of bum me out. Um, however, they do include the USB-C to uh, 3.5 mil uh, jack in the box. So um, you will be able to use your standard headphones without buying any other accessories. Uh, that being said, uh, the Bluetooth on here does work. I have a pair of Bluetooth headphones. I have Bluetooth speakers all throughout the house. Uh, it connects to everything, no problem. Uh, sound quality is really good. Uh, very, very happy with that. Um, so again, uh, I'll quickly fire up YouTube for you guys. Uh, I know that it, it's hard to see. Um, you know, I don't want to necessarily get in uh, it's, it's hard to see, obviously, uh, how good the screen is. Um, Obviously, I'm American, so I tend to enjoy like a lot of American news. That's what my whole YouTube feed is about. Um, but uh, let's let's have a look at Mr. Who's the Boss here because he typically has some some pretty flashy videos. Um, and he's got an ad, so uh, but we can watch the ad, uh, and you can see uh, it is, you know, a good nice screen. Um, there's Commonwealth Bank for you. So I'll, I'll, I'll turn the, the volume off, but uh, let's see if what I can crank it up to. So we're at 1080 right now. Let's see if Mr. Who's the Boss has any higher. So we'll go up to 1440. Um, so again, you can't really tell because this is a video of the screen and everything like that, but I promise you that the screen looks amazing. Um, it's, uh, it really, really is sharp, lots of detail, lots of great contrast. Um, I mean, and that, that is what this thing is known for is the screen. And, you know, that is what, uh, you know, presumably the reason why you would buy it. Um, anyway, uh, it, it's, it's, it's very, very good. Just take my word for it. I know I don't do it justice cause my camera setup sucks and obviously I'm, you know, is doing this in my you know, living room. So um, you can't really, really tell, but I promise you it's very, very good. Um, 
But yeah, uh, so that's pretty much the long and short of it. Like I said, I'm very, very happy uh, with this particular device. I think it's well worth the money. I think it's definitely a statement device. You pull it out of your pocket. People want to know what it is. Uh, the screen is fantastic. Uh, like I said, I'm going to America in uh, about five or six weeks. Uh, I'm going to load this guy up with movies and TV shows, and I don't even know if I'll use the in-flight entertainment because the screen on this guy is so good. Um, but yeah, uh, Elephone S8, uh, quality, uh, camera's a bit lacking, it's a bit mediocre, but uh, it will definitely do the job. Um, again, speakers aren't great, um, it's only that one mono speaker, so it is a bit tinny, uh, it's not fantastic. Uh, but gaming, uh, multitasking, uh, you know, having a whole bunch of apps open, it, it's all very, very good. Um, again, 4G, uh, the, the performance of the phone is very good. Uh, anyway, I think that's going to do it for me. If you have any questions or you'd like me to uh, respond to anything in particular that, you know, maybe I forgot to cover or whatever, uh, just let me know in the comments. And, uh, you know, if you like this video and you'd like to see more, um, hit that subscribe button and, uh, you know, maybe share it on social media if you're interested. Uh, anyway, that's it for now. And uh, have a great day and uh, stay tuned because I'll be back with some more uh, Chinese gadgets that I got from GearBest. Um, and they'll be coming very, very soon. All right? Anyway, have a good one. Take it easy, and I'll see you next time.